Well, we're going to be doing some chalk art today, and uh, you can see the picture that I'm going to be working from on the screen. And uh, again, this is kind of improvisational. I, I haven't planned anything out. I've got a photograph uh, that I really like, uh, just a beautiful waterfall uh, that uh, is you know, kind of cascading and just a lot of dark green trees and light green trees and a little light source uh, and uh, a, a very brave kayaker uh, who uh, I don't think I'd want to be in uh, his or her place uh, uh, at that particular moment. Uh, it looks pretty scary to me. So, uh, but let's try and draw it quickly. Again, we're not going to spend a ton of time on this because I'm working with you on uh, doing things quickly and uh, having some fun with it. So uh, if you uh, look for starters, I'm going to just get a uh, kind of a frame here. I'm working with lecturer's chalk, uh, and so uh, that's going to be a little different than what you're using. Lecturer's chalk is one inch square by three inches long, uh, but it's uh, very similar to pastel, uh, pretty easy to work with in most cases. And uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So uh, you might want to try and get yourself a little bit of that. I'm going to just go ahead and tone our paper and uh, put in a, a sort of a very dark color. This looks, this is black as I'm putting it on, but once I blend it, it's going to probably gray down just a little bit. You always want to work with a toned surface, particularly with pastel or chalk. Okay, so I've got a basic coat laid in, and I'm just going to use, let's see, an eraser, and I'm going to, so I'm going to have kind of a dark charcoal gray background, not, not pure black, and you can do the same thing with regular chalk or pastel. Uh, if you have white paper, you can tone it just like this. You don't have to use an eraser. Tissue paper, paper towel will, will do your blending for you uh, pretty nicely. So, okay, so got that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start in uh, by just laying in these colors up at the top. Kind of a, a yellow-green color. And that's going to come over here about like that. And I'm going to just kind of use my fingers to blend that very nicely, very lightly. Okay, now I have kind of a medium green that I'm going to come in with. I also have a dark green. Incidentally, you can see my colors down here that I'm working with. So I'm going to use this medium green and I'm going to come over here on the side and just lay in a little color there, lay in a little color there. And then I'm going to again blend this. Just getting the base colors down right now. I come back in with my dark green. Main problem with chalk like this is you, you don't have a lot of uh, variety when it comes to available colors. Uh, you just kind of have to work with, with what you've got. And uh, with lecturer's chalk, that's not really a whole lot of colors. Now you notice uh, the, the, uh, Hill is going to come out here a little bit uh, and kind of curve back, but uh, I want to get in some more of uh, this background first. Okay, so I'm going to come back in here again with a little of that lighter green. Now this chalk can be very hard. It Years ago, it used to be really quite soft, but over the years, um, it's just uh, production styles have changed, and and it's uh, it's not quite as soft as it used to be. Okay, I'm going to bring in some of my waterfall here. 
I'm going to come in. I'm using a light blue now. And I'm going to just bring that down like that. Notice there's a gap, so then I'm going to come over here on this side. And we'll come back in with some white. But right now, just doing the light blue. And that's about where the water comes in to the next level of the, the river. Okay, so and we've got a nice gap here. I want to darken that a little bit. So I'm going to come actually with a little bit of my black. Darken my tones a little bit. Okay. Bring that across, just kind of smooth it out. Okay, now I've got a little outcropping right here. And again, I'm going to come back down with this. I'm going to start in with black, but come back to green. Let's smooth that out a little bit. Blocking in my basic shapes at this point. Okay, now oh, I've got one more big area here. I'm going to just kind of draw that in right now. And then I've got a little bit over here. This is mostly waterfall at this point, but I'm going to draw that little little bit in, uh, color it lightly, again black, I will come back. Why do we use so much black? Well, uh, again, you don't have a, a lot of color choices to work with, and a lot of times it's easier if you start with a dark color with this chalk and uh, build on top of it. Okay, so it's kind of what we're doing here. Okay, I'm going to come in now with my medium blue. And now that, that's all cascading down here. So we're going to have some flowing water coming in and bring it down. Notice it's really dark. Get my dark blue out. I did not have dark blue down here, so I'm going to show you. Got some very dark blue. It's actually going to, I'm going to add a little black to that too. Just to really get the values darker there in that waterfall. And then I'm going to blend this just a little bit. in with my lighter blue. Oops, that's not my lighter blue, that's my dark blue. And just I'll give myself a little bit of ripples and rapids here. Try to go with the flow of the water. And it's Rippling over stuff. We've got a kind of a, almost a, not a really a vortex, but it's, boy, like I said, I don't think I would want to be in that kayak right now. That is a person who is adventuresome. 
Okay, now I'm going to come back in with some white. You can also use kind of a cream color. Like sometimes, let me try that a little bit. Sometimes cream will actually look a little bit better than white. I'm going to hit it right up here. I'll probably still come in with some white. Especially right up around here. Okay, now, because this is up in the area that's getting sunlight, so I want that to be a little warmer. Okay, here's just my straight white. Come in with that. Again, I'm pressing hard. At this point, I don't want to blend a whole lot because I want to keep the detail of, of what's happening. I want the action of that water going down. I'm leaving a little spot there to put our kayaker in. Okay, I'm gonna come back in now with more of my green, using my uh, medium green at this point. Just give us a little bit of surface texture. When you're drawing with chalk, uh, always remember you're drawing for people at a distance. So it's not necessary to draw in every blade of grass, every little detail, because they're not going to see it anyway. Okay, so when I draw... A picture like this, I'm going for general effect, general texture, some color and value changes. And again, I would be doing all of this in 15 minutes. Okay, we've got a little bit of incursion there into that rock. I come back in with the Darker green on top of that rock. And likewise here, I'm going to lay in more dark green, but I'm going to come back over it with some of the lighter green. Still laying in those colors. And we get a little bit more green in this. Okay, what I want to do here is actually I'm going to come in a little darker here. I'm trying to get just a suggestion of some tree shapes. Again, the one disadvantage of this chalk is it is, it is really, especially the greens, and the greens historically have been very hard. I don't know what it is, but uh, the green chalk just really tends to be hard. I'm going to draw in that tree trunk here and kind of soften that. Give it a little bit of a highlight. There are some darker browns that I could go to if I wanted to. Here's a darker brown just to tone that down a little bit and come back in. Go ahead with a little bit of extra foliage here to kind of hide some more of that. Come in here, maybe a few darker trunks back in the back. Okay, and a little bit of highlight here. I 
Again, you can do this with pastels. The technique is pretty much the same. Uh, it's just uh, you, you, know, you have to approach a few things differently. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try drawing in our kayaker here. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time trying to get this perfect. I just want to get the idea. Remember, if you're if you're drawing for an audience, which is what I do, then uh, you really don't need to put in a lot of detail because people are going to be seeing this from probably 20, 30 feet away. And I'm going to give him a different color outfit. Just give him an orange, orange and black outfit. A little bit of black in here. I say him, I can't really tell from the picture whether it's a, a man or a lady, but whoever it is, like I said, they are really brave. So I would not do that. Okay, let's make a, a real nice little helmet. Draw the aura across there. Maybe put a little bit. Shading on the top. A little highlight, not shading. And then you can go ahead and tweak. You know, you can put in flowers, you can add color, all sorts of things that you can do. But uh, quickly, that's how I would render that picture. I could come up here and add more detail. We're pretty much out of time, so I'm not going to. And again, this is... Uh, very rough at this point. Could go in and add a lot more detail and play with it and work with it. But that's just going to give you an idea of how you would draw a uh, waterfall uh, and uh, kind of a stream in uh, chalk or pastel. So I hope you'll try it. Have fun with it. I'll be back with something different next time. Uh, keep drawing and always have fun. I'm Jim Pence with See the Light.